greet everyone present here today at the conference. Uh, the theme of my presentation sounds as follows. Random graph model for structural analysis of online communications. Um, I'm dividing my presentation into six parts. First, we'll say a couple of words about uh, the problems uh, uh, we face during the social network analysis. Then, uh, we will give the definition to our key concept. Next step is to talk about most popular related words, um, as well as about the results of applying them uh, to our data. And finally, I'll tell you about the results of building our own model. Let me start. Uh, so, I think everyone uh, is familiar with social websites. And, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think everyone... I think that everyone is uh, familiar with social websites and uh, you know that social networking services collects information about their users. So uh, there is a great field for the research. And uh, this type of data is conveniently presentable in the form of social graph where uh, nodes are usually profiles, uh, comments, articles and edges uh, demonstrate connections between them. Uh, but the use of such data has some disadvantages. Uh, first of all, processing costs are rather, rather high, unfortunately. Uh, the second disadvantage is that you know, there is always a possibility uh, of disclosure of personal information. And moreover, the limited number of social graphs calls into question the statistical reliability of the studies. Um, so, um, because of that, uh, the creating of random graph models is the task that is gaining popularity. Now let me formalize uh, the key concept we are talking about today. Let V sub N be a set of graph vertices. Then uh, a set of graph edges is a connected pair of vertices. And a graph itself uh, is a connected, uh, is an ordered pair of vertices and edges. Now we can move to the discussion of uh, most popular and more important, easy for the understanding, random graph models uh, that was presented by Erdish and Renier. Let's discuss uh, its key features. So at first, uh, the number of vertices is selected. Uh, then uh, after that, you have to specify the set of edges. And for this purpose, it's carried out a series of experiments uh, with a random variable uh, having a di Bernoulli distribution. Um, they determine whether an edge from a set of edges will be present uh, in our graph. But according to the latest studies uh, by Mislov and Wilson, <coughs> large social networks uh, has, have um, a power law degree distribution of vertices. And uh, the uh, graphs of this type are also called um, scale-free networks. So this brings us to the discussion of our second uh, work, Barabashi albert growth model. Uh, how uh, does the process of graph construction goes there? In one word, iteratively, in few words, we start with the graph on n vertices, then we want, want to add n plus 1 vertices, and the probability uh, of an edge between this new uh, vertex and uh, the ith vertex um, is determined by the formula presented on the slide. But in brief, uh, I can say that the more edges um, attached to the node, uh, the higher is the, probabil the probability of joining it by a new uh, node. So, now I'm going to tell you about uh, how this model works 
applied to our data. But before, I, before let me briefly uh, tell you about uh, the data we worked with. Maybe you are also familiar with the professional blog Habra Habra. Uh, it's mainly a platform uh, of uh, news and uh, topics on IT themes. And uh, all open communications here take place uh, in the comments. Uh, so they will be the subject of our research. Um, we obtained approximately 56,000 articles with comments. And we constructed a comments graph for each article where an article was uh, the root of the graph. Um, we assumed that a comment can be either a response to an article or a response to someone else's comment. Uh, so uh, in our data, approximately 24% of comments are attached to uh, an article itself. So the number of these is 24%. Um, so that's all about our data, and uh, now we can proceed on the discussion of how Barbash Albert model works applied to our data. Mm, please note that graphs we constructed earlier uh, are trees, as they have no cycles and loops, and because of that, we have to uh, propose the modified version of Barbash Albert model. Mm, where we remove the possibility of cycles occurrence. The mechanism of graph construction could be described as follows. Uh, at every moment, a new vertex is added, and it is connected to one node at random. And uh, the probability of choosing this node uh, is dependent on uh, the amount of uh, degree this node has. Uh, so, because of that, we have to add some parameter key to the uh, root of the tree to increase the probability of joining it, uh, an article, rather than joining a comment. So, we come to conclusion that the closest to the real data values were obtained uh, with the parameter k equals to 3, and uh, we should Note that the resulting model uh, also has a degree distribution coefficient gamma uh, approximately equals to 2. And this is far from being the reality where we obtained gamma approximately equals to 3.3. So we have to correct this inadequacy, and we did it in our own uh, new random graph model. Uh, the model turns out to be a rather natural interpretation of commentator's logic. Uh, sometimes people happen to leave uninteresting questions that no one answers. Sometimes quite the opposite occurs. And we take this into account in our model by assigning a random weight to each new comment. Successful comments appear quite rarely, so that fact was reflected in the distribution of the random variable phi. Um, when the comment already has an answer, there is uh, a high probability of it being closed or transferred to another level. Then uh, we will give the weight lambda of this comment to a new comment under it. And now let me tell you about the exact growth algorithm. With probability p, uh, a new comment um, is joined to an article. And its weight is recorded by function phi uh, that, uh, in general, is uh, the interpretation of an interest among other users to this comment. With probability 1 minus p, a new comment becomes an answer to any comment uh, at random. And uh, the probability of joining each of them is proportional to their weights. So now we can move to the fitting results. Uh, the value of our first parameter, p, was calculated earlier. It's uh, 0 0.24. Uh, to find our second parameter, lambda, uh, we have to 
uh, know how uh, its value is affecting a leaf type. So when lambda equals to one, an entire weight of a comment goes to a comment under it. In this case, uh, we have long leaves without any branching. And when lambda equals to zero, a leaf uh, will not go down beyond the second level. So uh, the nodes decrease in the first level will quickly grow. Uh -huh. uh, and as shown in this uh, figure, uh, the vertex that first joins the first level comment um, takes lambda of its weight. And uh, because the, t the total weight of every subtree and average is proportional to the number of comments in it, uh, when the discussion is over, uh, we can calculate lambda. Uh, it equals to 0 0.76. And all unknown values of x, y, z, and etc. will uh, reduce during the division. And our last parameter, phi, uh, the distribution of phi was found uh, from the, um, with help of Skype, Skype library. Uh, we found that it has exponential distribution uh, with uh, a parameter 0 0.53. And uh, I should note that this model produces trees with a power law degree distribution exponent uh, equals approximately to 3.5. So it's uh, rather close to the real values. Um, and Probably this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for the attention.